Mike Massaro is on second. Christian Guerrero is on first in two down. The 0-1 pitch. Swinging a ground ball right side. Past the reach of Ziegler. Kahalilio's got to throw to first, and Garrett gets to the bag in time. Great play by Jake Kahalilio to take away a base hit. Here's the first pitch. Swinging a line drive. Shallow center out goes. Jake dives, and he makes the catch to save a run. Jake Kahalilio keeps the wing nuts within four with a diving catch and a shallow line drive over the second base bag. Pull for Ron Bob Riding in batter. And the 0-1 pitch. Swinging a ground ball towards the hole. Corey backhand slides. He's got it. Gets up. The throw to second is just in time to force out Mike Massaro. Great play by Ryan Corey. And up from the righty. And the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Chased a fastball down low. Good sequence by Eric Lamb. That's a second strike out in relief. And it's two outs on the verge of loading the bases. Here's the pitch, swinging a little looper, one hopper the other way, off the glove of Pulford, rolls to right field. Kahalilio scores. Here comes up Elni Amos. Massar will not make a throw. It's a two-run single to right field for David Amerson, and the wing nuts are on the board. It's 5-2 to two here in the bottom of the seventh, and the wing nuts are a base runner short of getting the tie. Hoping for what might be the biggest hit of the season. The 0-2 pitch, breaking ball, little looper towards second. Pulfer plays it on the hop, bare hands, he drops the ball. Everybody's safe, and it's 6-5 to five in the bottom of the eighth inning. David Amerson comes through on an infield single. Runner goes off first, the pitch, swinging a one up right to second. Cajalio gets the out at second, throw to first in time for the double play, and the inning is over. What a turn by Corey and Cajalio. With Massaro in motion, Jake grabbed it up. The winning run at the plate, one on, two out. The first pitch and a high fly ball to center field. Coming on is Drew Martinez. He's there. Martinez makes the catch, and the ball game is over. And the Gary South Shore Rail Cats are the 2013 American Association champions. Drew Martinez squeezes the fly ball to shallow center from C.J. Ziegler, and the Rail Cats begin a dog pile in front of the mound at Lawrence Dumont Stadium. The Rail Cats win their third championship in franchise history, winning this series three games to one. Marco Gonzalez retires C.J. Ziggler in a fly. The Wingnuts general manager, Josh Robertson, will address the crowd. I'd like to say a few words to the Wingnuts fans. First of all, I want to congratulate the Rail Cats on a heck of a season. Pat, Kevin, Greg, those have a hell of an organization and a hell of a team. I'd like to thank our owners for continuing to allow us to do what we love. I'd like to thank my front office staff for all the hard work that they put in. I'd like to thank my wife and my daughter and all of the other spouses, family members that put up with all the time that we spend out here. I'd like to thank the host families for opening up your homes to all these players. Thank you very much. All of our season ticket holders and fans continue to support this team in our quest for a championship. Last but not least, I'd like to thank these guys behind me for a monumental season. I know that we fell short. It's tough enough. Make it to the playoffs. We've done it four out of six years. We made it to the championship round two years in a row. So our time's coming. And Brian Rose, our bench coach, who we lost in January, his wife, stepdad's here in attendance. I know we didn't accomplish the championship. But we fought like hell, just like you did to the end.